previously when automobiles were introduced the first time in india people did not know how to drive so whenever you purchased a car the company along with the car the company also gave you a driver once a nawab a famous nawab a very rich man he buys the car so along with the car the company also provides the driver one day in the morning the nawab sahib the rich multimillionaire he tells his driver i want to take my begum saiba i want to take my wife for shopping please get the car ready the driver replies nawab sahib the car is not in working condition nawab sahib is very angry put the car back in working condition immediately so driver says to put the car back in working condition i require 10 liters of milk 20 kg of pure honey 30 kg of pure ghee and 40 kg of rice that also basmati rice so now up sir the rich multimillionaire he gives the driver 10 liters of milk 20 kg of pure honey 30 kg of pure ghee and 40 kg of rice that also basmati rice top quality the driver gives it to his wife and within a few minutes the car is in working condition i am asking you a question today if your driver tells you that to put the car in working condition he requires 10 liters of milk 20 kg of pure honey 30 kg of pure ghee and 40 kg of basmati rice what will you do what will you do will you give it to him what will you do you will kick him out of the job <laughs> even though you are not a mechanic you know how to drive the car you know very well that a car runs on gas and petrol it does not run on milk ghee rice you know very well even though you are not a mechanic you know the basics how a car functions similarly today if you know the basic message of our creator allah subhanahu wa taala if you know what our creator almighty god has mentioned in his last and final instruction manual the quran no one will take you for a ride you will understand your deen much easier no one will make a fool out of you there are some people who tell me the brother zakir suppose if you are driving a car and if you have a temporary license temporary license is a kachcha license in india temporary license and if you have an accident you know the police will give you a small fine if you have a permanent license and if you have an accident the police will give you a bigger fine therefore if we don't read the quran and if we don't understand the quran and if we make any sin god will punish you less if you understand the quran and then if you commit a sin then god will give you double punishment you know very good logic so why do you understand the quran you know behave like a person who have a temporary license and enjoy life you know less punishment i told this brother for sake of argument i agree with you that a person who has a temporary license a person who has a kachcha license if he has an accident maybe the police will fine him with 1000 rupees or 1000 dollars and if a person who has a permanent license if he has an accident maybe the police will fine him double 2000 rupees or 2000 dollars okay i agree with you but the point to be noted is that if a person who has a permanent license in one year the chances he'll have an accident is maybe one but a person who has a temporary license who has not learned driving well the chances he'll have an accident in one year is maybe 50 so at the end of the year the person who has permanent license pays a fine of 1000 rupees or 1000 dollars and a person who has a temporary license he pays a fine of 50000 dollars a person who has a temporary license pays 1000 dollars a person who has a permanent license pays 2000 dollars so if he has an accident once a year at the end of the year he pays a fine of 2000 dollars and a person who has a temporary license maybe he'll have 50 accidents in a year at the end of the year he pays a fine of 50000 dollars or 50000 rupees